He has two types of self-watching, two types of self-consciousness. There's a self-consciousness which we call negative self-consciousness, which is like I'm watching myself all the time to make sure I don't screw up. There's a kind of self-watching. The self is like a, I'm very self-conscious, they say. Uh, and that means that, you know, people are talking to me, I have to make sure that I'm standing a certain way and this type of stuff, or, you know, what they're thinking about me and this. So we call that self-conscious, but I call it negative, limited self-consciousness. Hmm? I mean, identified with self. But there's real self-consciousness means to be aware of the self. That whatever is appearing is only an appearance, it's not what I am. It's simply the play of existence, play of nature. This is a different type of self-consciousness. So which one is it? It's amazing some of the shapes that consciousness mm, devises certain situations and challenges in order to experience transcending them. That's another way, that's one way of putting it. In each life, wherever you find yourself, whatever your background, right where you find yourself, there is a door into yourself.